My boyfriend, male 23, secretly destroyed my female 22 hobbies because he was jealous of me spending time with them instead of him. Plus updates. Original post. This is honestly the weirdest thing I've ever experienced and have no idea what to do. So I, female 21, have a lot of hobbies. I'm sort of what you might call a hobby collector, lol. But my top ones right now are running, training for a marathon, baking, reading, and doing something called junk journaling. Not sure if anyone is familiar. Specifically reading, I've been doing since I was a young teenager. This started about six months ago when I saw that several of my old books were dog-eared, which I don't do to my books. I asked my boyfriend if he had read them, which I would be totally fine with, but he insisted he hadn't touched them. Odd, but whatever. Then after that, I literally could never find my running shoes. I bought a rather expensive pair and keep them separate from my other shoes because I'm a nurse and my hospital shoes are nasty, LMAO. But the running shoes I could never find. They would always turn up days later though, somewhere I definitely hadn't put them. Again, odd but whatever. And then my journal got completely destroyed. Somehow it was left outside in our garage where it is known to leak when it rains. It didn't necessarily get water damaged, but the moisture made all of my pages peel up and practically 28 pages ruined. The pages took me over an hour each, and I'm quite proud of them. 28 plus hours of my artwork ruined. This is so stupid, but I genuinely started to believe the house was haunted, LMAO. I did shed a few tears over my journal, and my boyfriend rolled his eyes at that, but helps me glue them all back down and salvage as much as possible. I had a fleeting thought that he put it out there, but it was honestly so weird, I was like, why would he? Then, it was back to my books. I have a huge bookshelf with about 200 plus books because I read daily. I started to notice one by one that they were freaking disappearing. Like straight up, gone. I searched every corner of the house and could not find them. I even texted all three of my sisters, my brother and my boyfriend's sister, asking if they had borrowed any and didn't tell me. They all said they hadn't. My boyfriend's sister borrows my books often, but she always asks and insisted she didn't have any. When this happened, I was like, WTF? And then it was my baking. I could never find my mixers or my baking sheets or anything whenever I wanted to bake. The final straw, though, was when I found my KitchenAid mixer broken. Literally just would not turn on. And if you don't know, those things are expensive. So I straight up asked him, did you do this? Like, why is all my stuff broken or lost recently? He finally admitted to purposely hiding or breaking my things, because my hobbies annoy him. I'm not gonna lie, I exploded. I told him he was a weirdo for touching my stuff, and that it was honestly so strange to do this as an adult. He proceeded to defend himself saying that I was spending more time in my made-up hobbies than with him, and this was the only way to make me focus in our relationship again. Which, for context, isn't true at all. We still have a great relationship, or so I thought. We go on dates twice a week, get intimate regularly, we get along with each other's families and friends. Like, I'm so confused. We've been together for two whole years. I love him so much. And other than this odd behavior, he's so good to me. After that argument, I was genuinely so distraught that I left the house and went to my sister's house to live together. They also agreed it was the oddest thing in the world. The icing on the freaking cake when I got home this morning was that he threw out all of my things. Cut the soles out of my running shoes, cut the laces, threw out my Apple Watch, destroyed the baking things, cut the silicone molds. The box that all my missing books were in, and a freaking dumpster with all of my other journal supplies. The journal he helped me fix was turned to shreds. I genuinely started to sob. I know it sounds dumb and overdramatic, but I genuinely worked so hard in my journal that it made me cry. Literally hundreds of dollars, and some of my favorite books in a trash. Money spent in baking supplies, which I used to bake for my baby cousin's elementary school, ruined. I just don't understand what is wrong with him. He's never been like this before, ever. I'm genuinely so freaking confused what has gotten into him. What do I do? What has gotten into him? Is it something else he could be projecting? I'm genuinely so confused. Now, for the top advice before reading the updates. Um, he's a freaking psycho. Kick him out. Change the locks and sue him. Police report and get a paper trail ASAP. It literally doesn't matter how much he hasn't been like this. Either he started watching some Andrew TT, or he was just waiting till he thought you wouldn't leave for this behavior. You have lost hundreds of dollars worth of belongings. You need to take a picture of everything. The shoes would be a great example. Your dog couldn't be blamed because it cut the soles out, and it's illogical to assume you would destroy your own very expensive shoes. I'm not a lawyer, but you might be able to sue for the property value and emotional damages. Keep all texts regarding this incident if you have them, and see if you can get him to confess to it over text as well. Anything like, I'm so sorry I destroyed your stuff, please come back, would work. He's an abusive a-hole. Leave him. 
you deserve someone who encourages and celebrates your interests. And the thing is, up until like those six months ago, he literally always would. I even got him to read some of my favorite books. I'm just so confused what snapped for him. So weird, and it genuinely scares me. Yeah, that was just him faking. This abusive crap is the real him. Abusers will pretend to be normal, but normal people don't pretend to be abusers unless they actually are. Yeah, I just can't believe he was able to act normal for a year and a half. Actually, longer than a year and a half because we knew each other for a year prior to dating. I literally never expected something like this from him. It's so hard to leave someone because they hate your hobbies. It's so odd. This is not why you'd be leaving him. You'd be leaving him because he is a deeply cruel person who would rather systematically destroy your happiness than have any attention be directed away from himself. Hate is a feeling. What he did is intentional, prolonged, horrifyingly abusive action. It's just so hard to think that he was being abusive to me. I never in a million years would have thought he did this. He's never once made me feel unsafe. Now for the mini-updates. I'm still not there. I'm with my sisters deciding what I need to do next. Thank you everyone for the comments and help. I really, really am grateful for it. Another update. A few people have messaged me to let me know that my post has been posted on TikTok and one of the Reddit story things. My boyfriend is active on TikTok, and if he sees it, this will be a million times worse. I don't know what to do about that either. I'm just digging myself in deeper holes now. And also, I know everyone is very concerned about my pup, but they also say do not go alone. I don't know which is worse, leaving her there or going alone to get her tonight. Now for the full update. Thank you for all your advice yesterday. A lot of people were very, very concerned for me and that is honestly mind-blowing. If all you want is to know that I am okay, I am. If you want to know the full story, here. I decided last night that I really needed to go get my dog, as a lot of people said that he was going to hurt her or even end her when I wouldn't come back. I didn't tell him I was coming, just went with my sister and let myself in with my key. He was upstairs, but came down immediately apologizing, begging me to just talk, telling me I was overreacting, all that. I just ignored him and grabbed my puppy. I told him I was taking her and my few things and that I would be back later tomorrow, as in today, with my other sisters and brother to collect my things. I told him that if he touched any more of my stuff, I was going to take him to the small claims court like all of you suggested. And honestly, I was considering it now for everything he did prior. He was so stricken and I could tell he started to get mad at that point. I ran around the house to collect my few really important things, passport, laptop, work badge. He followed me around the whole time, just begging me to give him another chance. I just ignored him. My sister took pictures of the things still destroyed. We put them all in our hallway closet for some odd freaking reason. I didn't tell him I was going to file a police report, which is why I think when my sister started to get snappy when we were leaving, calling him a few names, he shoved her out of the doorway she was standing in. She fell. She wasn't hurt or anything, but it really, really proved things for me. He was willing to shove my innocent sister over a few words, and he will definitely do worse to me. He probably would have done worse to me if I came alone. We just immediately left after that and took my dog and my stuff back to my sister's. She helped me contact police and we have a report started. All the things he destroyed of mine, the texts admitting to it, the texts threatening me, the texts saying he would have never hurt our dog. But if it wouldn't have gotten me there, he would have done it. That he will do anything to get me back. I had a small scrape my sister had on her hand when she fell. They asked if she wanted to press charges for the shove, but she said no for now. The officer was really nice and he told me to write down everything that he broke and write down the prices. He said it might add up to a felony charge if that's the route I wanted to take with him. I'm not sure it is, but at least it's there. That was last night. This afternoon, my brother and our friend, another man, are going to take me back to the house to pack up most of what I can. I had my sister tell my ex-boyfriend over a text that we suggest he be gone from the house for a few hours. He responded to my sister with just horrid things about me, calling me names that I never would have expected from him, telling her about all the intimate details of our relationship and other personal stuffs my sister don't know about. He said he wishes he never met me. My brother is urging me to try and file a restraining order. And for those of you concerned that he was talking me or tracking me, I had my brother check everything and he said it all looks fine. So at least there is that. I'm not concerned he will try and hurt me or anything when I go back to the house. Like I said, I'm going to go with my brother and a friend, both ex-military. I'm going to stay with two of my sisters until I figure out my situation. My brother is insisting on staying with us, at least for a few days while everything settles. I thought I was overreacting, but I think my brother honestly might be. Lol. I'm mourning the loss of my two-year relationship with a man who I thought was the love of my life, a man I lived with and trusted wholeheartedly. But I don't know what happened, but he just isn't that man anymore. I think in some ways he never was. 
My sister made me think back on the past two years and I can name at least a dozen things he did to subtly control me or try to. The most terrifying part is that, if I didn't have the weird urge to post here, I probably would have let him convince me to forgive him. That is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I hope no one ever has to experience something similar. Although I now know, this is far from rare. This man is insane. I'm happy her and the dog are okay, but she needs to get far away from this person. Plus, he cannot know where she's living. Yeah. Even the small stuff, like hiding her running shoes, come across as psychotic. But destroying all her things? Holy crap. I've been collecting gaming books, dice, and other paraphernalia for 30 plus years now. God, typing that made me feel old. Anyway, if someone threw all of that out, I'd be livid. It may just be stuff, but it's my stuff. All those things I collected through my life, there are memories attached to that. Obi's brother is not overreacting, and I'm scared for her that she thinks he is. In fact, she is underreacting, lol, which I guess is because things need to sink in a bit more for her. It is genuinely such a scary situation. She's probably still in that mindset of, he's never done anything like this before, he wouldn't actually hurt me. But it's so obvious that he 100% would and probably will try to. Yeah, in the first post, she said she dismissed the idea that he would do these things, because why would he do that? And as I hope it became clear to her with time, he did it to hurt her. Not because he didn't get enough of her time, not because he was going through something difficult, but just because he wanted to hurt her. To feel in control of her and watch her be upset and confused. I am glad she never went back alone and hope she keeps that up. Witnesses, protectors, allies, all good and necessary in this type of situation. Last story. I, 22 female, mistakenly accused boyfriend, 22 male, of cheating on me. He says I want to break up. Have been in a relationship with my boyfriend for two years. Never had any real problems until now. He moved to a new job about four months ago and is being mentored into the job by a senior female employee. She calls him after work hours too, to make sure that work is on schedule and to inform him of various responsibilities of the next day. I have been okay with all this, until one day she called him around bedtime and asked him if he could pick her up in the morning because of some problems with her car. I found this unnecessary and told him to not do it. He said it was okay for one day and did pick her up in the morning. I argued with him in the evening and told him that I find her calling him outside of work to be uncomfortable. He rejected that and said she only says things about work. And as she mentors him, he cannot just ask her to not call anymore. This has been going on for some time, but the breaking point came yesterday. One of my friends called me yesterday noon and told me that she saw my boyfriend eating lunch in a restaurant with another woman. She described a woman and I was sure that it was to mentor. In my mind, I was almost sure that it was nothing. But still, when he came home, I exploded and screamed at him and accused him of cheating on me with her. I shouted over him for a good 30 minutes. When I calmed down, he looked livid and showed me a photo on his phone. It was his selfie of him and several of his colleagues having lunch, and it was just that he and the mentor took his smaller single table by the side of the extended one. I apologized a lot, but he said that he doesn't feel comfortable that I am getting insecure over him working with a woman. Then today morning, he told me that he needed some space and went to his friend's house. He is not taking my calls anymore, and I want to go to his friend's house to talk to him. How can I convince him that I know that I went overboard with my reaction? Edit, some of you have asked why the mentoring is continuing after four months. I can't say what his job is, but I know that the mentoring period for his job is six months. Now for the top advice. So you went from thinking it's nothing to screaming at him. Then he asks for some space and you bombard him with calls and want to show up at his friend's house? He has every right to dump you. And I think most reasonable people would do the same. I suspect your relationship is toast and that's on you. Yeah, couldn't believe that part either. Why would you explode and scream at someone when you're almost sure nothing has happened and a boyfriend hasn't done anything wrong? Opie deserves to be broken up with and is not nearly apologetic enough for her actions. I can't help but feel that any apology would come with a but. If he asks you to give him some space, give him some space. He left this morning. So wait at least a day until you try to contact him again. He might sort his thoughts out and come back to you. What are you doing, Opie? Sounds like an abusive, controlling, and coercive person to me. You're right, she definitely could be abusive, controlling and coercive towards her boyfriend. Her insecurity is something to share and be vulnerable with him about in a controlled setting. Exploding accusatorily over circumstances and stress rather than waiting until she could have a conversation means she's unprepared to be in a healthy relationship and needs to work on herself rather than try to repair this. It's at her boyfriend's discretion, but he should break up with her. 
I could never imagine being with someone who doesn't trust me sharing time and attention with other people regardless of gender. Mini update. Sorry for not replying to the comments. I was distraught, and the opinions are understandably against me. I understand from reading, many of them think that I might have BPD, still to be diagnosed. I'm planning to go to therapy and counseling. I've sent him a message saying this, and that he can take as much time as he wants, and that I would completely understand if he wants to break up. As for people asking why I screamed at him when I didn't think there was a problem, I really don't know. At that moment, I couldn't control myself, and all the irritation I felt from her spending time with him must have come out, 